Now that summer is upon us, we're going to be snapping tons of photos on our vacations. But how are you going to make those images look their best, whether you're posting them to Facebook or printing? You could whip out your laptop, but it's much easier to use your iPad and fire up the new iPhoto for iOS app, which is just $5 in the iTunes store. Our own Davy Alba shows you how to tweak your pics using just a few taps and flicks. So let's start with something simple, how to remove blemishes. So when photo day happens, you don't always control all the factors. Sometimes an angry spot or two will appear on your photos. So what you can do is um, correct them with iPhoto. Open up the image um, that is problematic. Uh, just tap on brushes. And a fan of um, brushes that you can use pops up. Now you select repair. And then you just put your finger to the screen and rub over the blemish. And there you go. Maybe it's an overcast day, or maybe it's just too bright. Light is one of the trickiest things to deal with when you're taking a picture. Luckily, with iPhoto, you can still go in and correct this after the fact. So you tap on the picture that you want to correct. And there are two ways to do this. You can either spot correct color correct your photo, or do it as a whole. When you want to spot correct, you tap on this little menu, the palette icon, which is the third one, to adjust the colors. And you touch the part of the picture that you want to correct. If you're touching the sky, iPhoto automatically detects that it's blue skies. And you can drag your finger left and right until you're satisfied with the results. You can also touch greenery and drag your photo, your finger, across the photo to adjust the greenery in the picture. iPhoto can also detect skin color. So when you tap, it shows that you are touching skin tones, and then you just drag accordingly. So that's how to correct your image, um, spot correct your image. You can also do it as a whole. So you tap on exposure, which is the second icon on the menu on the lower left. And you put your finger to the screen again. iPhoto shows you when you drag up and down, it adjusts the brightness of the whole picture. And when you want to adjust the contrast of the picture, you just drag left and right. Who doesn't like adding a little flair to their photos? That's why such apps like Instagram and Hipsmatic were such runaway successes. With iPhoto, you can do the same um, filters and effects, just like Instagram. So you select the photo that you want to add the effect onto, and you tap on Special Effects, the last icon on the menu on the lower left. A swatch appears, um, and you select any of these um, four strips to edit the photo. Let's go with Vintage. And you tap or drag your finger across this strip to see the different effects. If you're working with vignettes, you can also tap that to activate it. And then you can pinch to adjust the vignette, pinch outward to decrease it until you're satisfied with the image. The reason why we take lots of photos is to share them with family and friends, and iPhoto provides an easy and elegant way for us to do just that. It's called Photo Journal, and here's how to create one. You tap and hold on the photos that you want to be part of that journal to select all of them. And you tap on the Share button up here. and say, as a journal. Um, in this screen, you enter your journal name. And you can actually uh, choose from six preset layouts that iPhoto provides. And don't worry, you can go in and adjust that afterwards, the look of it and the general layout. So create the journal. And iPhoto automatically snaps all these elements to a grid. So you can adjust them by pinching. First, you have to tap on Edit, of course. 
You can adjust these photos by pinching to zoom. So you can choose which ones are displayed more prominently, the ones that are more important to you. And you can also add in your own elements. iPhoto provides a number of different uh, things, extra things that you can add to this journal. So there, are, there you can add things like text or a note, um, a quote, even maps. So after you're done with um, your journal and you're satisfied with it, you can share this to iCloud too, which Apple does for you automatically. So you would tap on Share and tap on iCloud, flip the switch to On, and it generates the journal for you and generates a URL that you can then share with family and friends. So with all these tips and tricks we've shown you, now you know what a powerful tool iPhoto can be on your iPad. Who needs a computer and Photoshop when you've got this app loaded right on your slate?